Okay, so say you had like a bunch of street lights. Alright, so you have like all of these lights. And if you want to turn all of them off at the same time as a beginner developer, you'd probably insert a script into all of the lights, because you don't know any other way. And whilst that may work, it's a it's gonna take a lot of time and you're gonna to have to set up way more than you would have to if you just use the loop. So I'm gonna show you a simple loop. So like I could put a script in server script service, and I could make a variable to get the street lights folder. So local street lights equals game dot workspace dot street lights. Then I can make something called a for iv loop. So for i v in pairs street lights get descendants do and I'm just gonna print I so if you run the script you'll see it prints out just a bunch of numbers up to 42 so that's the index so like from my very brief understanding this would be 1 and all the way at the bottom this would be 42 it's printing out the number that the part is. So this be one, two, three, four, five. So this prints the index, the number. V prints the object itself. So if we do print v dot name, or just print v, I'm gonna see if v works. Yeah, you'll see that it prints the name of the thing that it went through. So if we can print the name of it, and we can print the well, the index is kind of useless for this. But what we can really do is we can check to see if v is a and you can see we had a sh uh, surface light if v is a surface light then and since we know that the surface light is the child to the uh, light part like the one that's glowing we can just do v dot parent dot color yeah v dot parent dot color equals color three dot from rgb we can make it black and we can also just do v dot enabled equals false so if we run this script all of our lights are now off and that was really really simple now on its own that's pretty that will save you a lot of time but there's a lot of cool things you can just do with this type of loop so you can do local queen service equals game get service queen service and instead of Okay, I'll make a clean info. So local clean info equals clean info dot new zero point. Uh, I'll try zero point one and see how that works. E number easing style dot. I uh, will do linear, and E number easing direction doesn't really matter. I'll do out. Um, I have it repeat ten times. Through. So we have our tween. I'll do it actually 0 0.05. So instead of this, what we're going to do is tween service create uh, e.parent EI uh, color equals need our curly bracket. Color equals color the dot from RGB. Black. Black. And the same thing goes for the color. I mean, for the, um, yeah. For the color of the light itself instead of enable I mean, instead of just disabling it we're gonna do uh we're gonna copy this remove the parent and i think on its own this will work and we're also just gonna play it again we're gonna see what happens so you can see the lights ominously flickered a little bit but if you add half that weight 0 0.2 or something You can see that when they stopped flickering, it's like, here, I'll add a more obvious one. If we add one second in this, the lights don't flicker at the exact same time. They're like flickering in a weird pattern. That's because inside of the workspace, what I did is I duplicated them two at a time. But if I took this, and this is the first one now, and I duplicated it one four times and I played it in studio you'll see it will go in an order from left to right like that 
All right, so you can see kind of how useful that can be. Like you can change the value of a lot of things in your game or change like lights or parts or you can change literally anything like I'm going to show you. If you want to just get chaotic, you can just spawn like a bunch of pillars and we're literally just going to do it for I be in pairs game that workspace hit descendants two two be that okay. We have to like get a few things because our character has mesh parts. He has our character has a lot. So if V is a part or V is a mesh part or V is a texture because of the base plate or V is a decal because of our character's face, then V dot transparency. Well, oh, I got to add to service. Actually, I think I can just do. Yeah, no. So let's create. B, we need to go down to 5. Let's see if this is 1. Play. Cast our weight 0 0.5. So instead of workspace, you'll see that everything just starts going away. And then we did cast out weight three fade function. We increase this to one for a more visible effect. You can see that I think we'll fade away with the base plate this time. You see everything just starts going away like a dano snap. Now that I'm dead, I'm going to give you some wise men's advice. It's probably best you use these scripts, like loops that will use like the tween on the client because tweening is very like server intensive, but I'll save that for the tweening tutorial I have cooking up. So yeah, have a good day.